Ooh, and then we just heard, you <laughs> <laughs> slap, boom, you come running down the stairs with a neck pillow and a laptop in your underwear. <laughs> When we took Gorilla Pete, when uh, he found out about uh, Ghost Room and freaked out because he wasn't going to sleep well, in it. Well, first of all, you guys got me uh, high on marijuana. Three more but, drops. <laughs> but, three more but drops. But before we even did it, when we were in the elevator going up and we talked about, like, okay, one of us is going to have to sleep in the Ghost Room each night, and you said, no matter what, we're not, uh, no, no scaring each other, That's whatever. Right. And then you got That's out of the right. elevator, and Paul's like, are we going to scare him? Like, absolutely, <laughs> we're going to scare him, right? Like, so then, yeah, the whole plan was when we got you in there, we tested out the phones while you were out making your uh, love call the melody. We yeah. tested that our phones could work at any time, and then we put one, like, uh, in a, the Kleenex box up at the end so, of your bed. So it was literally sitting there for hours before. We, yeah. yeah, we phoned her, like, we hooked him up early, and then after we rented all the movies, you wanted to get all the scary movies, Amityville Horror and all that, and then we yeah. we put one up in there, and then I, uh, in the Kleenex box, and I put mine in my bedroom so downstairs. So cell phone the in the Kleenex box at the end of the bed. At the end of the yeah. bed. But and, it was then we did, and you called it for hours. It was just yeah. sitting for the whole time we watched the movies. Our phones were connected because we have unlimited data, right, yeah. or phone yeah. calls, so they were just running, and we had tested out earlier, and then we, <laughs> we did all the pot drops, Right? You were, we were like, come on, Pete, few more pot drops, right? We're, we're getting as many pot drops as I can't do it anymore. And then, <laughs> I'm too high. Yeah, and then you went upstairs and we waited for you to, like, you know, we waited till the lights went out. And then Paul's like, the lights are out. And then the plan was to do, like, one ooh so that you would be like, oh, what was that? <laughs> and then say, like, Gary. Or something. <laughs> but, but all I did was go, ooh. And then we just heard, ooh. <laughs> you slap. Boom. You come running down the stairs with a neck pillow and a laptop in your underwear. <laughs> I just heard a ghost. I heard a voice, a distinct voice at the end of the room. And then we were just sitting there watching movies. So you're we're like, what are you talking about? Like, oh, you I heard a voice. Off fervently. And like, you, being yeah. a master impressionist, when you did like, it went, ooh. It was identical to what I had done. It so, burned into my memory. It yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> and then I said, I'm like, it might, it might be the furnace. And you're like, yeah, well, it might be a, a breathing dead grandma ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what it is. I'm going to be hanging down here for a while. Anyhow, watch another movie. And, and then, why were you wearing a neck pillow? Because I went to bed. And I but was why were you wearing a neck pillow in the bed? <laughs> There's real pillows. You don't trust pillows in the ghost room? I was reading my rap laptop. I was le reading Reddit. And then I heard, uh, and I slammed the laptop closed and then realized now I'm in pitch black. And I was just, <laughs> so then, so then <laughs> you're uh, hurt, it's if you're in a ghost room, you can't see anything. Way worse. So then I opened up my laptop again, and then I held it up like Trump holding up a document <laughs> that he was signing. And I'm shining it around the room looking for a ghost. I don't see anything. And then I'm just, I got to get the fuck out of here. So then immediately just ran downstairs with my neck pillow, laptop, and my underwear going, oh, a ghost is breathing on me. <laughs> yeah, um, the, the way you peeked around the corner, you guys hear a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we just sat there and we just pretend like we're watching uh, a movie. And then once the reveal happened, I was... So you went I, back upstairs, though? After no, no, he sat no, there. I stayed and downstairs. And then Paul at one point went upstairs, and I was sitting there watching a movie, and I saw Paul come down carrying the Kleenex box <laughs> with his eyebrows he the raised. Downstairs? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, he yeah. put it behind Pete, and then <laughs> Paul went up to make a sandwich or something. I went into the bedroom, I just got to use the washer, Pete, and then I did another, Ooh, and we heard him like, you had you to hear that guy! <laughs> like, we were both missing, and again, the ghost shows up, and he's still not putting it together. This is an hour I think he, he literally said, every time you guys aren't in the room, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, and not putting that together, just being like, like what are the odds? This ghost is stuff all up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares to me. And Pete's now just terrible. It's been an hour and a half, and so finally I got up and went to the room while Paul was sitting uh, beside him and did it one more time with a, uh, and then he just, Pete started yelling like to Paul, like, you had to hear it that time! You had to hear them! And I came out laughing, and that's when he realized. Uh, uh, and then he told us, you were like. Well, the, the worst part of that is that it was such a good, prank that I wanted to be on the opposite side of that prank. <laughs> yeah, you're like, one, good acting. <laughs> two, I'm pissed off I wasn't in on it. Three, you better be ready the rest of the tour. <laughs> Man, nothing. <laughs>